Okay. Okay. The server just came online. All right. Whoever... I, I'm going to check and see who this is. Man, you are literally a minute faster than I am. Okay? A minute faster. To give you an idea, it is 5.03 a.m. Who did I get a message from? Unread. This is, a, this is one of the scams from eight hours ago. Yeah, that's a scam. But um, eight hours ago. Sorry, that's a message. Uh, no, I, like, I just... God, like the server just came up. Chaos. You absolute Chad. However, a couple of things I want to talk about. Over on Twitch, um, World of Tanks is doing something that I completely approve of. Uh, the free daily chests. Uh, don't forget about your daily chest each time that you log in. It refreshes every, uh, I think it's 11 hours, you get your free daily chest, log in, get this, you can get a day premium, you can get some uh, boosters, whatever it is. Wargaming, I do want to say this, and I am going to say this, I want to see this daily chest that you can redeem it, and it gets thrown into your profile tab inside of your... Uh, chests right off the bat that would be amazing as well there's a lot of things that you know can kind of be better for quality of life and that's one of them so because wargaming is starting to do things in uh, a, a way better light right now and things are doing fantastic speaking of which how much freaking gold did i not need to spend today Eight thousand eight hundred. beautiful uh I mean, kind of, kind of beautiful chaos, dude. Thank you, man. That is awesome. You have no idea. Because today, I'm actually going to say this. I didn't want to spend money until Wargaming did something that impressed me. So, I'm going to do this. Wargaming, when you do something that is worth it, hats off to you. And just for that, I'm going to say this to a lot of people. Right now is a time for praise, and hopefully they continue this in the future. One thing I do want to see, war chests, I want them separated. If you're in World War II and you go to the store and you look inside the chests, they need to be World War II oriented. Then in Cold War, it needs to be completely separate because you do have a split player community. I am a part of that player split community. I play World War II. To me, Cold War needs a lot of work before I ever even consider playing it, but I am doing this today. And because Chaos was so generous, if I manage to break, you know, we'll take a look. I'm going to go ahead and pop all my chests, and then we'll, we'll take a look. Um, for me, I'm just going to open one at a time. I've noticed that if you open them all at the same time, your RNG kind of sucks. <laughs> I like it. Keep in mind, that's from opening a lot of these. Uh, go ahead and skip should just be like an AA. It used to be just real simple, but ever since they added in a couple of the extras, it's been a complete pain in the butt. But no, um, I, I personally feel like when Wargaming does something right, I'm willing to spend money on the game. Because if they're not doing things right, if they're bringing in the wrong balancing changes, if they're bringing in a ton of the wrong things, I don't feel like I want to give them anything. Currently, though, not very sad about it. I'm okay with this today. Six days of premium. Worst part is, this also means that I'm not going to be able to um, grind out my uh, double barrel line. Because I do want to do that free to play. So I have to wait for my premium to expire before I continue my grind on that. I was 17 hours away. And now, I'm seven days away. The war chest. Probably going to speed this up a little bit. If I get a tank, I'll go ahead and show it off. 27 of them. Not a single tank. Then again, sometimes the rolls are bad, sometimes the rolls are good. But you know what, Wargaming? You you earned that one from me. I am completely okay with that. Because for me, I'm excited. There's one tank that I've been wanting to get my hands on for a minute that they finally brought back today, and it's for free XP. So for me, I am definitely going to be using my free XP to buy this. 
in all honesty, uh, not a lot of people realize that the tier six Panthers, um, <laughs> this one specifically, the French one, what's so nice about this is that we can come over, take a look at the hit points at 955. If we go medium, we go tier six, bring it back up, 955. And then we look at the other Panther variants, 855. There are a hundred less. So I am super stoked that this one is back in the game. So there's also the last one. I missed out on this a while ago. Um, they brought it in. I don't know if it has the three-shot autoloader or not. Let's take a look if it's free XP. Be a little bit surprised if it is. Ooh. All right. I just noticed this, and I about confirmed it. I need to make sure people are aware of this. If you come in and you want to buy this for free XP and you're doing a conversion, purchase for 280,000 free XP. It's going to pop up saying you need 207,000 more. And immediately, it's trying to convert 306,000. Keep in mind, keep track of this. Or gaming, you need to fix this. This one's a little bit of an issue, because that kind of overestimated the amount that I actually need. I'm going to be honest, this is a lot harder than I thought, trying to get the exact number. Because it likes to jump a lot. Go a little bit too fast, it just it skips like 100 gold. You go too quick. Boom. See that? It's just that massive skip. Wargaming, you do need to put in a, um exact number that we can put down. That way, because this whole skipping process for free XP is a little bit of uh, obnoxious. It's been a minute since I've done this, but yeah, this change is not that good. All right. Looking at the, um, the E-Rack 105 Proto. This thing is going to be absolutely devastating whenever it comes down to range combat. Looking at the pin value 200 to 192. It says APCR, but that 192 doesn't seem right. So what I'm going to do is we're going to select tier 8. We go back over to another APCR 105, which will be 200 pin on the dot as well. Something tells me it's not labeled correctly. No, 192. Okay, that's actually, uh, that's correct. So you have the same gun as the King Dragon, the Type 59 2. And I do believe it's going to be the same exact gun as the Rev and the M51. You're going to be getting either one of these, though. I actually do recommend the, uh, the rev even though it's got a lower top speed it's got much it's got a way better power to weight yeah this is their like a uh, common free-to-play gun they give this one away a lot so a lot of people know how to use this one that is going to be nice even with the power terrain uh 13.68 on the uh m51 super sherman so yeah when it comes down to it the rev is better just because that power to weight difference it's a lot better and sure you don't have the top speed comparison but you do have that additional power to weight, which allows you to do a lot more. Uh, anyways, I'm going to play a match inside this. I'm looking whenever I get at home to do some streaming and then be able to play then. But I just wanted to jump on today. And I saw Chaos sent me a uh, a gift the moment I logged on. I wanted to you know, kind of praise Wargaming right now and say that they're doing a good job. Keep it up, you guys. This is absolutely amazing. In all honesty, though, I will say this. And some people may say hot take more than likely. Um... I don't agree with the weekly reset on the Twitch drops. It should be every single two weeks because uh, the fact that we can get 12 days of premium a month, uh, sure, that is a lot of premium a month in my opinion. I, like, I would have been fine with every single two weeks having that, but it would be nice to see some um, additional changes in all honesty to be able to see something get swapped around every single once in a while and have swapped around where we get like camouflage vouchers or we get something else like emblem vouchers or maybe even one of these times you do a um, twitch drop which is like 20 hours of watching in the course of one month to be able to earn like a tier 7 tank that would be cool anyways you guys thank you for watching uh sorry for this being a complete utter ramble but chaos thank you and everybody else you guys have a great day after your night whatever you're whenever you're catching this and if you're catching this the same day uh i might do a stream today i might not i do believe uh there's a scrim today going on at 6 o'clock my time, which will be about the normal time I start streaming. So I might not be able to do a stream today. But if not, 
look forward to Wednesday, I guess. And for anybody else out there, um, if you play an Xbox, drop your gamer tag inside of uh, the comments of this video. Leave a like. Seriously, drop your drop a comment with your gamer tag if you're an Xbox. Whenever I get home today, I will randomly go over that list for whoever puts a comment down with your Xbox gamer tag. I will select a random individual, and you guys might find yourself with a ERAC 105 in your garage later today. Anyways, if you're the one that receives it, make sure that you put a reply to yourself as well, letting people know that you got it. Anyways, I'm out of here. See you in the next one.